Hi there, my name is Joel, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get started with Kubernetes monitoring with NetData in just a few minutes. Now we're gonna walk through the entire process here live so you can see it happen, and you can see just how easy it is to get started. So what first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that um, we have a cluster running here. Uh, I'm also gonna show you that there's nothing really running on this cluster aside from the Kubernetes management pods themselves. So there's nothing hidden behind the scenes here. I'm doing this as I'm talking. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and deploy uh, the robot shop, which is a demo microservices application. I'll have the link to that in the description below. Um, but what we're gonna do is go into this directory. Uh, we're going to use kubectl to create a namespace for robot shop. And then we're gonna use Helm to create this deployment in the cluster that I just showed you. So give that a second to run. And we'll have, if we run kubectl again, you can see we have a bunch of new containers that are being created. Awesome. Next step, I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the NetData agent across this cluster as well to start collecting metrics in real time. So first thing I'm gonna do, let me clear this. I'm going to add the NetData repo to Helm. So give me one second to type all this out. Awesome, we've added the NetData repo and we'll go ahead and install the NetData agent. Again, this takes just a second. Perfect, we're up and running. Let's check out kubectl one more time. You can see here we have four uh, NetData agent containers that are now running and they're already starting to collect metrics. They're going out looking for pods, for containers, looking at the nodes themselves, starting to collect metrics and store them, which is awesome. Um, but that's only part of the picture. You know, collecting metrics is one thing, being able to see them is an entirely thing altogether. Um, so the next thing that we need to do is that I have this empty war room in NetData Cloud and I'd really like to be able to see my Kubernetes metrics here um, as, as they're being collected. So in order to be able to do that, I need to claim this cluster to NetData Cloud and that basically just uh, it creates the key pairs necessary to encrypt the, the metrics data as it's streamed through NetData Cloud servers and to my browser. Um, so what I need to do is create an override file um, to update some of the settings that, uh, that the default settings for the NetData Helm chart. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, over, and, and open this and I'm gonna um, off screen here, I'm gonna copy in a te basically a template of this file. Um, and this file is all, this, this template is also available in the documentation, which of course is linked below for um, deploying the NetData agent on your own cluster. And basically what this file does is that we need to uh, in insert a token and room strings here to be able to claim it to my space and my war room. And then we also need to update the child pods configuration so that they start to actually retain some metrics in the way that you would expect. Uh, so to get the token and the room strings, we go ahead, go over to NetData Cloud, click this claim nodes button, and we see this script here, which includes both the token and the rooms key. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this into the file. I think there's an extra white space at the end of that that I need to delete. And this might seem a little silly that I'm going through all this, but I really wanted to show exactly how easy this is to do um, while you're watching. I think it's it's easy to make edits to these things and to make it seem a lot shorter than it really is, but um, this is really showing you that it takes just a matter of minutes to get set up. All right, so we've created the override file. Now, what I need to do next is to run Helm upgrade we're going to specify this override file as we're going to use this to upgrade upgrade the uh, the deployment. Run that, and that's going to take a minute to basically terminate the existing pods, create new ones uh, with the new configuration, which you can see here. 
We'll run kubectl one more time to show you that these are um, these pods are basically kind of being recreated as we um, as I talk here. Um, and what you should see in a second is these pods start to uh, start to appear. Here we go in NetData Cloud because they have created that secure connection and they're starting to stream the metrics uh, to my browser through NetData Cloud, which is en enriches this dashboard and gives you everything that you're looking for. So at this point, about just over five minutes into the video, I'm actually set up. Um, I have everything that I need here. Um, the here we go. The new visualizations are now available. They're starting to. They still need a bit of time to be fully enriched, but it's taken about five minutes to get fully set up. So I'm actually going to stop the video there. The next step for you is to go ahead and try this yourself. Check out the description for a bunch of links to the deployment instructions, to a guide that walks you through the health map, the composite charts, some best practices on using everything that you see here. Um, and once you get set up, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, so head on over to community.netdata.cloud create a topic, join a thread if there already is one, and give us your feedback. What do you think? Is this useful? How are you using it in your infrastructure? And how are you getting value from it? We'd love to hear from you so that we can continue to iterate, optimize, and improve the Kubernetes monitoring experience with NetData. And of course, all of this is available entirely for free. So until next time, happy Kubernetes monitoring.